So you're thinking about moving to Atlanta, Georgia, and what a great decision you're making. However, there are a few things you might want to consider before you finally make that decision. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you the pros, the cons, the good and ugly about Atlanta, Georgia. And like I always say, welcome to the channel. I am your Atlanta home guide here for you, everything Atlanta related. So let's get into this video. So first off, we're gonna start with the pros and then we're gonna slowly ease our way into the cons. One of the pros about Atlanta is definitely the job and network opportunities. Atlanta is in the southeastern part of the United States, an economic hub. It is booming. It is probably the most popular city, I would at least say, in the southeast of the United States. The reason I'm saying that is because Atlanta is literally like network haven. It's literally becoming the new Wall Street, the new Hollywood. Atlanta, literally Coca-Cola is out here. Amazon is out here. Delta, UPS, the headquarters are literally stationed in Atlanta. Atlanta is perfect for anybody wanting to get into real estate, the healthcare industry, maybe you want to make music, fine arts, um, transportation, energy, like any like industry that you want to get into it's, it's it's there Atlanta has it all it has the jobs has the opportunities has the great and amazing people you can meet there's so many different programs and there's so many different things you can get into really Atlanta is just such like a a great diverse city any industry that you want to get into any job any anybody that you want to find and especially like the people out here like it's a very good southern hospitality so talking to people networking getting jobs it's not really that hard out here because atlanta is it's, it's in the south you know so with it being in the south it's a lot of opportunity you know and it's definitely will say it is one of those kind of things it's not about what you know it's about who you know in atlanta but that's why atlanta is such a great place because it's so easy to talk to people people are very friendly and it's a lot of opportunity especially if you want to come with a family or even if you want to just move down here by yourself and start a new life find more opportunity for yourself atlanta is a great place for jobs and opportunity so let's get into pro number two the cost of living atlanta is extremely known for its relatively affordable prices especially compared to like a lot of like the other metropolitan areas in the united states like california your new york your um your mains like all the other like places that are really high to live in atlanta is definitely a good place like you get you get what you pay for it's like you get a good pretty much bang for your buck i would definitely say atlanta because there's so much you can choose from you can choose houses they we got the condos the townhouses um mobile homes pretty much every lifestyle that you're looking for you can find out here in atlanta because atlanta it has its suburban areas atlanta has its city areas atlanta has its like you know county areas atlanta it just has the perfect like uh, that's why i like to say atlanta really is for everybody you know people really don't like to say it is but in my humble opinion i'm from arizona so i'm from the west coast so transitioning from like arizona to atlanta was a very big jump but the way atlanta is just so like diverse and like so open because right now currently i live in like the suburban i live in like the outskirts of atlanta because me i'm not really too much of a city guy so living out here in the outskirts is perfect it's nice it's peaceful like a lot of the houses that you also buy in Atlanta, they're gonna come with like a pretty decent amount of land. So you can have nice family barbecues, invite friends over. You can put a pool in your backyard if you want to. So that's what I'm working on right now, working on being like a fence around my house, building an in-ground pool, stuff like that. But like that, the housing is very good, it's very affordable. Um, the average house price in Atlanta right now is like around $430,000. So home prices and, and um, the market is pretty stable right now so right now pretty really be a bad time if you were thinking about moving and also the variety and the range of housing so if you want to come out here like 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 i said earlier a full family family of four family of five family of three if you want to come out here by yourself and just start a new life maybe you and one other person there's so many different budgets so many different areas you can move to it's just so much like to consider so that's why when you are moving i would definitely recommend doing your research beforehand so you choose a spot with a budget this fits what you need another pro i definitely have to say about living in atlanta is the fantastic food scene and the vibrant culture atlanta is a place of many atlanta you'll see a lot of different cultures out here a lot of different foods to try a lot of different places to eat i'm talking about restaurants things to do places to go things to explore and a lot of the stuff is relatively like affordable like for example we have something out here called the beltline the beltline is like a nice long strip like you can walk on you can ride the, you can rent the scooters the um they call like the birds 
electric scooters. You can ride your bike on there, walk your dog. And as you're on the bell line, it's like restaurants that you can stop and eat, grab a drink. You can sit on the rooftop, have a beautiful view of the city. Like there's, um, you got farmer's markets out here. You got the nice food trucks that come every once in a while. There'd be like a lot of um, block parties and um, parades and really just like a lot of just like Atlanta pride. Like we got all the major teams as well. You got the Atlanta Braves out here. You got um, Atlanta United. You got the Atlanta Falcons. You got the Atlanta Hawks. So Atlanta has pretty much like the four major sports teams out here. The stadiums are relatively close to each other too. So if you want to find something doing like a Saturday, Friday night, Sunday night, it's there to do. You can go to the games. You can go out to eat with your family. You can go to the Beltline. You got the Georgia Aquarium that you can do. Um, every once in a while, you'll see like the Jamaican and like the Caribbean food restaurants where they have like the amazing overseas food. And it's, it's just really like you, you really can't miss with the lens. You can't miss with the food. You can't miss with the things to do. And I definitely say Atlanta, there's always something going on. There's always some type of event, a concert, a sports game. There's always something to do. So there's never really a dull moment. Atlanta doesn't just stand still. It wasn't one of those cities where it's just like quiet. Something happens. No, every day there is something to do in Atlanta. So if you're one of those people who want to get active, you like doing things, you like getting out, meeting people, like I said earlier, one of the best parts is the networking. And there's so many things to do so many places to go it's relatively affordable and these are definitely things i recommend doing and just to piggyback off my last point if you like to shop because me that is one of the reasons i do not like going into atlanta i can never walk out of atlanta and not buy something especially on my linux mall linux mall has all the stores you can imagine it has nike it has gucci in there it has um some other designer stores it has Foot Locker. There's a restaurant that you can eat at inside the mall. There's a movie theater nearby. Like going to Atlanta, like it's it's really hard to not spend money, and that's for me personally because there's just so much to buy in. There'd be so many good deals because as you guys know, like a holiday is literally every month. So whenever you go into Atlanta, one of the stores, one of the restaurants, somebody's gonna have a great deal going on. It's really gonna be irresistible. Like I was walking literally down the street, and it was like a little boutique, and I don't really shop at boutiques, but they had like some nice like shirts and like pants and stuff like that the deal was literally buy two get one free and the shirt was like 10 bucks the pants were like 15 bucks and then anything in the store you could get for free and it was like like a small boutique stop it was family owned but that's what you'll find at Lance. like you'll find like the high luxury brands then you'll find like the, the nice still quality family owned stores where they have great items and great deals so if you like shopping and you just like doing things like that atlanta definitely like it's gonna be really hard not to want to spend a dollar another advantage of atlanta i would definitely say is the central location in this infrastructure for transportation atlanta literally is home of hartsfield jackson one of the most busiest airports in the entire world like the airport provides convenient access to domestic and international destinations they also got great public transportation like the marta train marta it pretty much goes to all like all of Atlanta so that you catch the Marta train it can pretty much take you from one end of the city all the way to the other and Marta really isn't that even expensive to ride and pretty much what Marta is Marta is just like the public train transportation it pretty much goes like all through the city of Atlanta last but not least this is going to be a pro we're going to talk about southern hospitality the people and we're just going to talk about all that right here okay southern hospitality especially I want to tell my people on the west coast when you're in, me being from Arizona, right, I'll be walking down the street, I might just look at somebody, we might just look at each other, and you know, just going on our day. In the South, people are going to say, hey, how are you doing? Like, people are going to really talk to you, like, like they know you. Like, so the hospitality is really amazing. Like, people are very nice. You, you run into some of your, your mean people that, you know, aren't really having the best day, but the majority of the time, a lot of your, you, there's a lot of quality, nice, helping people out here. That's why I'm never scared. Like, I'll be walking, I'm never scared to say hey to people, I'm never scared to give a smile, like, where I'm from, like I would do it, but it wasn't really like the normal, you know? Out here in the South, it's normal to be nice and courteous and friendly, not going to people and stuff like that. Like it's been so many times where like, somebody that i don't know like they will just say hi and like a conversation just starts like that and next thing you know me and this person like friends we're like playing the game together we're going to the gym together like stuff like that and people believe it or not people out here really are caring like people really do have a heart out here like especially like for like the um my pet lovers people that really just like the bond and just have like great bonds and just are people's like people like me i'm a people's person so the south i definitely feel like i belong because like i can like express that without feeling like i'm being you know too like over like nice and stuff like that you know i hear this thought people are very welcoming very outgoing with that being said southern hospitality it could be a pro or it could be a con just depending on who you are let's get into the first con traffic 
oh my goodness bro traffic in atlanta is by far one of the like the worst cities for traffic i've ever been in in the united states and i've been to a few states and atlanta by far is the worst because the thing of atlanta is like like i told you guys atlanta like the city is like yeah like you got like the nice things to do you got all this stuff but you got to think about it like this the way the roads are made especially downtown it's like the roads are so narrow like you, you like when you're driving down the road it's like cars are literally parked on the side like well, let's say this is the road right here right a car is going to be parked right here so you're having like to kind of squeeze through the lanes there's potholes there's always some type of construction going on always a car accident happening and what that does is it causes congestion and what that congestion does it eventually reaches the highways and then you have this long line of traffic and traffic Bro, I remember one time I was in it, what would have been a 20 minute drive. It took me an hour and a half because that's just how backed up traffic was because the construction workers, they were doing um highway. They were like doing highway maintenance in the middle of the day. It was literally rush hour, like 1, 12 or 12 to 1 o'clock. So when you are traveling and you are trying to get somewhere in Atlanta, you need a plan to head accordingly at different ways. If you're going to leave somewhere and you have to take like one of the major highways, definitely leave. Give yourself at least like an hour because I'm telling you, the traffic is definitely going to delay arrival to your destination. So if you're going to leave somewhere, plan accordingly, leave early because you do not want to be stuck in that Atlanta traffic. For some reason, like when I'm in Atlanta traffic, it just feels like I'm not moving. Like it's like you're like, it's like every five minutes i'm moving like a couple inches a couple inches a couple more inches it just gets that bad another con that i really do not like about atlanta is the freaking bugs bro i'm talking about these mosquitoes these little flies these little gnats these little moths like i'm from arizona okay so the yeah, other bugs out there but down here in the south it's like times 10 like literally right now it's summertime right now we're in the month of july and I cannot leave my door open for one second without 20 bugs flying in. And then not only do these bugs come in your house, but it, it comes to a point where it, they can really like start to annoy you. Like literally, I just got done killing like what, five or six flies just today alone in, in just this winter room in my house. I just got done killing five or six flies. There's still little things flying around the kitchen. There's still little things flying around in the bathroom and stuff like that. And it just, it just really gets irritating. Then they start biting you, you start getting bumps on you. And then it's like you hit them and it's, it's like every time you kill kill one it's like another one is born it, it just doesn't make any sense to me i don't i, ne I don't understand that about atlanta the, the bugs are just so freaking annoying they, they be flying in your face that the flies like they're so close like in arizona it's like the bugs had common sense when they were seeing human okay don't get too close to the human they're, they're gonna hit you they're gonna kill you in georgia they don't care they'll be all in your food i remember one time i was having a nice drink of apple juice and right before I took a sip, a fly just landed in. I had to just throw the whole thing away. Like, it just, it just so, ugh, I hate the bugs out here. Yeah. Another con about Atlanta, I wish this was a pro, but it has to be a con to weather. The weather in Atlanta is so bipolar. It's, it's like, it's like the weather has mixed emotions. Like I told you, because I'm from Arizona, Scottsdale, Arizona in particular. And Arizona, and any other place I've ever been in my life, when it rains, you see dark clouds in the air, and you can tell it's raining. In Atlanta? Atlanta was the first place I've ever been to and it was raining and I could still see the sun like I, I couldn't wrap my head around it I was so flabbergasted it was like me and my mom and really my whole family when we first seen that we were just so confused we're like okay so this is what Atlanta weather is like it's just weird and just bipolar and then the thing about Atlanta too the summer so I'm from Arizona, so I can give you a really good like comparison to this. For really for all my people on the West Coast. You know when it's hot out there, and my, for my people on the West Coast, right? It's hot, it's like dry heat. You know, you can see the heat waves and all that, okay. In Georgia, it's like this humid hot. So yeah, it's hot, but at the same time, it's like humid. So like, it be like so moist. And it's, it's, it's 10 to, to me, in my opinion, it, humid heat is like 10 times worse than hot heat because in, in hot heat yeah you can be hot throw some water on you get cool and and, and georgia if you throw water on you while you're hot it's gonna make it's, it's not gonna do anything it's gonna make it 10 times worse like oh my goodness like and in 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 arizona i could go inside my house be in the ac in georgia it doesn't matter where you go you can go in the house and go outside everywhere it's just hot i don't understand it like there's no shelter at least like when it's cold i can put on a jacket some leggings some long johns a beanie and, and be okay when it gets hot in georgia there is no escape so it's either two things you can either tough it out 
um sunscreen's not gonna work don't think sun sunscreen's not gonna save you i tried it. It, it it makes it worse because like the humidity just starts melting on you and then you're so icky and you start getting sticky and stuff like that and then like i said the bug problem so as you're sticky bugs are coming on you bugs are getting stuck because you're so freaking sticky it's just a whole mess man and then like the winters the winters get freezing cold the winter oh my goodness the winters get they, they the winters like I don't know, like Atlanta winters, it's probably like any other winter in any other state, but like me being from Arizona, the winters were cold, but not as cold as down here. Like when it gets like cold, cold out here, it's like comes to the point where black ice does be on the road. It don't be severe, but they might give you warning. So you might miss like school or you might have to like um, miss work or something like that because like black ice does get severe in certain parts of Atlanta. I will say that. It doesn't really snow down here. We don't really get one. I remember like a couple years ago, we had like a major snowstorm. But if it ever does snow, it might snow for like a day or two. It might be like a couple inches of snow and then just melts and goes away. Um, When it thunderstorms, the thunderstorms, it, it sounds like bombs are going off. Like it was just thunderstorming like a couple minutes ago. And and thunderstorms sound like bombs are dropping literally in the rain and the thing about Atlanta like it just rains out of nowhere like you'll, you'll be thinking it's a Sunday check your weather app oh it's a nice sunny day in Atlanta 12 o'clock hits a thunderstorm rolls in or something like that now thank god we don't get tornadoes we don't get hurricanes but if one does come in you know from like Florida or something like that we'll get like the backlash of like maybe like a light to moderate thunderstorm but we don't really get tornadoes and hurricanes and all that um we don't get no hail really no no hail um yeah so i, I would if i had to rate the weather i would definitely give it like a freaking five like the weather just not consistent like you can't you can it's it's, it's kind of hard to actually plan to do things as well because the weather just so unpredictable and i also want to piggyback on top of what i said um allergies bro like pollen like bro in springtime and stuff like that the pollen is freaking insane bro the po it doesn't matter what you do it doesn't matter how many times you wash your car it doesn't matter what type of repellent bro pollen is gonna be all over your front door it's gonna be in your house it's gonna be on your car pollen is literally so annoying like i literally took my target to the car wash because my car i have a, a like i had a white car at the time right i had a white car and pollen like on a white car makes it look yellow it makes it like it looked like i was driving bumblebee around okay i went to the car wash washed it i was happy parked went inside an hour later my car was filled with pollen again so if you have and allergies too if you have allergies and you're allergic to pollen and stuff like that please be careful be aware i don't want you guys to have any surprises like because me i get allergies when pollen comes my eyes start getting watery my nose gets stuff i'll start getting headaches and stuff like that i'd be having like the it, it just be oh my gosh i hate it i hate i hate when springtime the pollen comes all this pollen flying around it, it's just so annoying then sometimes the pollen gets on your shirt you be, i was going to work with my white shirt on i'm going into work with pollen all over me i was embarrassed i just, I just really it just it you, you really just got to be prepared for it okay just that's one thing i want to warn you about is the pollen so if you have allergic allergies and stuff like that please be aware and i guess another con i can touch up a little bit about is the property taxes on property taxes in atlanta depending on where you're at are, are relatively affordable if you're living in like one of the more higher end areas or one of the areas that are kind of like starting to like boom like bloom a little bit more property taxes are also gonna bloom with that and think about property taxes they rarely ever go down so i would definitely say property taxes um really watch and, and um and do your research on the area that you're gonna be moving into because property taxes can be a whole lot and at the same time they can be extremely affordable so very 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 important and very 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 cool that you do your research on property tax all right let's get into another con another con definitely has to be the crime rate atlanta i hate to say it but atlanta is probably one of the most dangerous cities to live in but atlanta is probably like in the top 20 across the whole country for like the you know the top dangerous cities to live in um it's really because they say for like every 1000 you know residents 50 accidents happen whether it's like burglary um theft um homicides um shoplifting like stuff like that so with that being said it's very crucial that when you move to atlanta you choose definitely like a safe area to you know move to and if your budget can do it um try to get like a place where it's like like cop like police and um authority like law presence is like really heavy because there's some areas in like atlanta where like it's, it just gets so bad to the point where cops don't even like be over there half the time definitely one of the safest places to live in atlanta definitely gonna be north buckhead north buckhead they literally have like buckhead is like on lockdown that's why buckhead is literally in the process of becoming like its own separate city from atlanta because buckhead like the tax bracket up there is just so different like they have their own police you got buckhead police like buckhead is just that's that's 
if you if your budget can afford it because living in Buckhead is extremely extremely expensive I would definitely recommend North Buckhead it's it's very safe um there also like are a lot of other safer places but honestly it all just depends on you it all really just depends on like do you have a like, nice flashy car because carjacking does happen a lot in the lands especially like those nice sports cars like the um chargers and like the challengers and mustangs those do have a tendency to get carjacked a little bit more because they, they do have a, a good reputation those are really nice cars um burglaries those happen like it, it really just depends if it, it all this like i said all this really just depends on what area in atlanta you're in if you're like kind of down there like in like eastern Atlanta, like east Atlanta, or maybe down like a little bit like south of Atlanta and everything like for example in Bankhead Atlanta the crime rate is 10 times more worse than national average so the national average already has like its boundaries so this is the national average crime rate right Bankhead is up here so that's what I'm saying try not to move to areas like Bankhead um certain parts of east Atlanta um your college parks um certain places in college park like those really aren't that um pleasant either you also got your safe areas in atlanta like you got your um john's creek you got your cartersville you got your adamsville you got your peachtree city you got your dallas you got your ackworth you got your marietta these are like a few places that also are pretty safe to live in crime rate is pretty low and these places like they're actually kind of like suburban too they're not really like in the heart of atlanta they're kind of like on the outskirts of it so that makes it even better because you know crime rate's gonna be low not as much traffic it's not in the heart of the city it's quieter because you know you're out there in the suburbs a little bit so it's a little bit quieter so these are nice areas i recommend if you want to be want to be like in an area where like a lot of crime is taking place you know so definitely watch where you're moving to that's why it's like i always keep telling you guys it's important to have a great realtor like me and somebody that guides you along this process so you make a very great decision on where to move to in Atlanta. Oh, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope I was able to provide you guys some knowledge and just some insight on just Atlanta as a whole. Atlanta overall, I definitely say it's a great place, especially if you're coming here for like, like I said earlier, networking, job opportunities, um, better cost of living, affordable um, things, um, fun things to do, um place things to try out just like a whole just different experience and stuff like that atlanta is definitely a place i would recommend okay and especially from people on the west coast um i definitely will say the biggest transition that i made when i first moved to atlanta was definitely just like um the way of life out here you know because everything in atlanta is like so fast paced it's like the city life everything is fast paced everything's fast moving so for some people if you're used to like living in like slow chill country atlanta still does have like i said earlier atlanta still does have its suburbs it is still have like its country area that you can move to but if we're talking about like the metro like the heart of atlanta is very fast paced not as fast paced as new york now but it does have its times where it's like fast like i said atlanta is never sitting still so it's always moving so without further ado i love you guys thank you guys for watching and tuning into this video if you guys have any questions or want to be make any videos about like the atlanta market in general feel free to text me call me send me an email i'm always available check out my social down below if you want to connect or if you want to move to atlanta maybe i can be your agent i can help you out all right thank you guys for watching i'm out